Frank Gold is part of the vast majority of diabetics around the world diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Most are older adults. Health experts say type 2 occurs when the body does not effectively use the insulin it produces. It is often the result of obesity and lack of exercise. Gold, a diabetic for more than two decades, closely monitors his blood sugar level with medicine and insulin. But recently, based on his doctor's advice, he revised the acceptable range of his blood sugar level. The uh, procedure has changed to allow me to have a higher blood sugar. Gold is trying to avoid an episode of hypoglycemia that might send him to the hospital. Hypoglycemia is when your blood sugar falls below um, average levels. And in people with type 2 diabetes, this can happen as a result of either taking too much insulin or overuse of certain oral medications. Rachel Whitmer is a researcher with the Kaiser Permanente Healthcare System. She and her colleagues concluded that each time patients had hypoglycemic episodes of dizziness, disorientation, fainting, or seizures, severe enough to require hospitalization, their chances of dementia increased later in life. Even when we only considered hypoglycemic episodes that occurred in midlife, when the patients were in their early 50s, there still was a significant association between those episodes and an elevated risk of dementia in late life. The Kaiser Permanente researchers analyzed medical records of more than 16,000 patients with type 2 diabetes. The average age was 65. Patients with one hypoglycemic episode had a 26% risk of dementia. Those with two episodes were at 80% risk. And three or more episodes put patients at double the risk. It really adds to the evidence base out there that perhaps very low glycemic targets might not be the best way to go in elderly patients with, with type 2. The findings were published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, which has devoted the entire issue to the latest developments in diabetes research. Melinda Smith, VOA News.